Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. In this video, we are still working on the 2018 Audi S5 Twin Turbo. Um, we gotta clay the paint, because I've already tested with the bag, it's pretty bad. And then we gotta do some paint, uh, very minor correction. There's just very minor, minor, minute imperfections in the paint. We're gonna hit that with Griot's Garage Boss uh, Perfecting Cream with yellow pads. And then we're gonna put some wax on it. That might be in this video, I'm not sure. But regardless, let's get this thing started. Let's do it. Many of you have been watching my channel for a while now and you know how I check if a paint needs uh, decontamination, you know, claim, paper, Ziploc bag. Just gonna run your hand over the surface and feel. Like I said, I already did it, so I knew it needed it, but whew, I don't know if you can hear that. It's like sandpaper. Now side panels aren't normally too bad. That's not bad at all, but it needs it. I can definitely still feel some contaminants in it. It's always these, you know, the roof, the trunk, and the hood. Yeah. Yep, definitely needs uh, clay to get rid of that uh, contamination in the paint. So we're gonna get started on that right now. So we will be using Grio's Garage Speed Shine Cloths. You can use any microfiber, to be honest with you. I like to have one that's uh, really soft a higher GSM. Speed Shine by Greer's Garage. Greer's Garage paint cleaning clay. I'm not going to go really in depth in the paint cleaning. I've done that many times in my videos. I don't really need to do it again. But one thing I will say, you've heard me say many times before, cleaning the paint with paint cleaning clay, because I keep seeing comments on other people's videos, does not remove scratches. It does not remove any imperfections. It's just decontaminating the paint. That's it. So as you can see, I've got Speed Shine in there. See that down there? You always want to keep your clay moist when you put it up. I'm going to pull this piece out here because it's still got a lot of life left in it. See how much I got left still? I mean, I've used that a couple times. And you can tell when the abrasiveness starts breaking down on clay or if it starts getting full. It's just something you kind of figure out over time. So what we want to do is we're going to spray the surface liberally or as I say a lot of lubricant and do a whole half of this hood right here and I'm gonna spray my clay and just go at it Get some more lubricant right there Actually, it doesn't feel too bad with the clay bar on it, but I could definitely feel it with the Ziploc bag. I kind of keep the bottle in my hand and kind of lubricate as I go if I feel like it's getting a little dry where I'm hitting with the clay bar. I do use a lot of lubricant, but like I, I've said many times, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Look, that was a clean car. Let's see, see how dirty that is. Hopefully it's, it's kind of hard for me to do in here, but it's definitely dirty. Full of contaminants. And we're just gonna wipe it right off. There's no need to let it dry or any haze up or anything like that. Wipe it right off. When you use a lot like I do though, it takes a little bit to wipe it off before it starts actually flashing and drying. I've learned to deal with it though. Okay, let's see if we can do a, put a Ziploc in my hand. This is all I'm gonna show you guys as far as cleaning this paint, it's just right here. Let's start over here, where I haven't been. Hear that? Hear that? It goes away. 
I actually pulled the bag out of my hand over here because it's catching. There you go. Okay, so here's what we're going to use to correct the paint or to just bring, put, to add gloss to this paint, I should say. There's only, there's very, very minor imperfections in this paint. We're going to be using my Boss G21, um, which is right here, long throw polisher. We're going to be using Greer's Garage Perfecting Cream with Greer's Garage Yellow Perfecting Cream Pads. And I'll be removing the polish with Shiny Details uh, Professional Microfibers. Once again, there's not a lot of imperfections in this paint, but let me give you a before. Okay, sorry, I'm kind of jostling you guys around here. Like right, right around there. I'll try to get my light to show it. Right there. That's about as bad as the imperfections get in this paint. Let's see if I can. I know it's probably messing the screen up, but it might help. There you go, see around the light. That's about it. That's about as bad as they get. So I just want to pick that stuff up and Perfecting Cream should do it. It's a very mild polish. It's for minor imperfections. Now if I use it and it doesn't seem to be getting what I want, I'll step it up. We'll go up to Correcting Cream with some orange pads. Okay, so once again, the reason I'm starting with Perfecting Cream is because I don't know how hard or how soft this clear coat is on this car. I know Mercedes, which is a German vehicle, obviously. They have a very hard clear coat. I don't know if Audi has hard clear coats, but I've never done an Audi. So we're just going to butter this pad up really good. We'll make probably three passes. We'll wipe it off. We'll see what our surface looks like, and then we'll decide from there if we want to step it up or just stick with this. Okay, so here we go. Putting down a lot of pressure, just a little bit. Kind of get a feel for it. That's one pass. Okay, we'll just do two passes here. Two passes. Okay, let me grab my light from behind you guys. Should be on my cart right now. Oh, uh, that's working really good. Let me dim the light a little bit. I know it makes it, oops. Might make the screen flash, but those are not swirls that you're seeing. Cause I'm looking right at the paint, not my screen. And I see nothing. The paint is very, very sparkly, I guess is the word I'm looking for. And that's a reflection of my camera. See, it looks like the, that's not a scratch right, right around there. I can't do it right next to my light, I guess I should say. That's not a scratch. Yep, 
perfecting cream is going to make this paint just really, really pop now. Um, it got rid of those little imperfections that I was seeing before. So we're going to keep on going with the perfecting cream, get that done. We'll put some wax on it. I think I might leave the camera on. Uh, I'm going to do the hood on my, you know, without the camera on, but then I might put the passenger side maybe in a time lapse um, and then, you know, put some wax on it. So this is where I'm going to put it into a time lapse, but I want to show you the reason that I have the hood open, because I normally don't open the hood, you know, do a fender. This hood right here actually overlaps this fender. And I don't want to take my polisher up and that pad hit the hood right there on the corner, because right there in the corner is the thinnest paint. You could easily go right through it. So just I just open the hood and make it a lot easier for me. Okay, this side of the car is done. As far as perfecting cream is concerned, I'll finish going around the whole rest of the vehicle with perfecting cream with my boss machine and my three inch machine. When I get that done, uh, we'll pull it outside, make sure there's no polish left over anywhere, you know, wipe it down. Uh, I will use my pre-wax cleanser before I pull it out, but then when I pull it out, I'll bring you guys along and we will see what it looks like because the sun is out, it is shining, and I really hope it stays out uh, for the rest of the day so we can really see what this paint is going to look like. Okay, it is windy out. I hope you can hear me on the microphone. I'm kind of being loud, but here's the polish is done. Correcting cream or perfecting cream is done. No tire shine because I haven't waxed it yet. I'll do that in a little bit. Looks really, really good. It is mean looking car. The hood turned out really, really good. I hope it's picking up the the flakes in the paint. 